गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन दिस इज अंडित तिवारी माउंटिल्ट्रा जी स्कूल झांसी इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैड कंप्लीटेड अबाउट द चैप्टर नंबर फोर्थ ना इन दिस सेशन ऑफ इलेवेंथ क्लास एन सी आर टी बुक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द चैप्टर नंबर फाइव विच इज मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर आई मस्ट टेल यू अबाउट द मॉर्फोलॉजी मॉर्फोलॉजी मीन्स द स्टडी ऑफ आउटर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्लांट्स सच एज इट्स साइज इट्स फॉर्म कलर स्ट्रक्चर एंड अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट गिव्स नॉलेज फॉर द रिकग्निशन ऑफ प्लांट और फॉर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट नंबर वन नंबर सेकेंड इट गिव्स इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द वेरियस काइंड ऑफ रेंज रेंज विच आर फाउंड इन प्लांट दैट मीन्स डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्पीशीज द थर्ड वन इज एनी काइंड ऑफ मॉर्फोलॉजिकल चेंज विच अकर्स जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ deficiency or toxicity of something that also can very easily be noticed if we know about the morphology of plants you know that there are certain parts which are found in one flowering plant these are number 1 stem stem contains leaves also buds also nodes also fruit also flower also and there is one underground ground part which is root which is root and root also contains certain primary roots tertiary roots secondary roots so the part which is above the ground that will make or form shoot system which we will be studying in detail and the part which is underground that will make root system and these are the two parts which we are going to read in detail number 1 is root system so in root system first of all we are going to talk about we are going to talk about the dicotyledonous plants and what kind of root system is found in dicotyledonous plant that is actually tap root system now what is this tap root system we know that the root comes out from the radical and radical forms the primary root in plants and then this primary root bears certain lateral roots and then secondary roots tertiary root and so on so when the primary root only al along with certain lateral roots forms the system root system that is known as tap root system that means the radical forms roots primary roots and they remain till the end of the life of life of the plant then it is known as tap root system but when now we are talking about the monocotyledonous plant but when the radical produces primary roots and primary roots are replaced by a large number of roots at its base of the stem that constitute the fibrous root root system which is mostly found in wheat and rice and when not from the radical beside radical if the root arises from any part of the plant then it is known as adventitious root so there are three kinds of root basically main roots are two tap root and fibrous root system and number third is adventitious root which is found mostly in grasses banyan tree <coughs> mage etc the main function of root system are absorption of water minerals from the soil giving the proper Uh, power and anchorage for the plant to stand erect and storing the reserve food material there are certain regions also there are certain regions also in root so these regions are very important to be studied this complete system is tap root system which we are indicating i am indicating here is this is tap root system and in this tap root system you can see certain places such as number 1 this area from where the root hair is coming out this area is known as region of elongation region of maturation that means the cells are being matured here at the another side the top is known as root cap and before the root cap the region which is found is known as meristematic activity region 
Here, all the cells which are found are meristematic in nature and you know the meristematic cell that they have power to generate new cells and they continuously, continuously generate new cells. So, meristematic region keeps on making new new cells and those cells which are made by the meristematic tissue, they are called the region of elongation where the cells become mature, they become elongated and they increase the size or the length of the root. Then the area comes, the region of maturation, when the roots elongation is completed, that place is known as region of maturation and root hair comes out from here. So this is all about the regions of root. Now the next part is modification of root, which is very important part here to be studied again. Roots are modified to store the food material, Sometimes for the nitrogen fixation, which you must have studied in 9th class and 10th class also. For the aeration and for the support. So tap root of carrot, turnip, adventitious root of sweet potato, they get swelling up just because of storing food material in them. There are certain prop roots which you must have seen in banyan tree or old banyan tree. And there are certain stilt root also of mage at the base of the mage plant. Or the sugarcane plant also you must have seen. At the base of the sugarcane plant, there are certain roots which you can see by your naked eyes from outside. Above the ground. They are stilt roots. And the prop root of banyan tree, that means from any branch the root comes out in banyan tree. That also you must have seen. The, both the branches, the, both the roots, prop root and stilt root, they are for supporting the root. They are for supporting uh, the stem of the plant. And there are certain roots such as rhizophora, pneumatophores. They help to get oxygen for the respiration. As it grows in swampy areas, the areas which are very much muddy and the oxygen amount is very less in the root, uh, in the environment of root. So that's why these roots come out of ground and they give oxygen for the respiration to the plant. So this is all about root system today we talked about. Now the next which we are going to study is the stem. Again in the same manner as we studied about the root there will be the study of a stem and the modification of a stem. This we will be st studying in the next session. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.